How's it going, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? My name is Doodles. We are back once again with a brand new video for you guys. I am continuing on my Mortal Kombat 11 story mode playthrough with Chapter 2, which focuses on Kotal Khan. Hopefully, you guys are excited for this one. If you are, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you're new around here. Make sure you subscribe and notifications on. But for now, let's just dive straight into this one. Let's watch this opening oh, cinematic. Let's just get straight into it. Suck dry the bounty of Outworld's people. Today... Your debt is paid. Kill me, Kotal, and you lose profit. You mistake me for Shao Kahn. I do not inflict bandits upon the poor. Shao Kahn approved. His word was law. Your master is dead. So is his law. Never again will Outworld suffer from his corruption. Raiden? Shao Kahn? General Kotal! Kotal Khan. Khan! Pathetic fool! You pretend to my throne! It is mine, by right and deed. You were killed long ago, as was your repugnant spawn, Melina. We were at the Mortal Kombat tournament. Kung Lao had just defeated Shang Tsung and Quan Chi. We are decades beyond those events. For us, they happened only moments ago. What game are you playing, Raiden? What magic powers this delusion? If it is a delusion, it is one we all share. Is it possible that the past and future are colliding? Katana, Baraka, Scarlet, 
All Outworld champions long since gone. If you have all returned, has... I am here, Kotal. Jade. Ashtek Custom requires all refugees be offered assistance. I offer it to you, Shao Kahn. I am no refugee. I am Khan of Outworld. Vacate my throne, or I'll soak these sands with your blood. What do we do? I have not met Kodal, but he is reputed to be a man of honor. It's true. I know him well. Then we must navigate this crisis by aiding him. Katans are dead. Impossible. They allied with Melina against me. Persist, and you will die again. Damn, that was a pretty damn cool uh, cinematic. That was really cool. So it looks like the past and the future have collided. Obviously, um, whatever was going on at the cathedral was basically uh, bringing the sort of past back to life. So, as you saw in the beginning, um, like, Liu Kang was kind of, like, dead, but kind of, like, possessed, like, working for the bad guys now. Um, whereas, obviously, now he's back in his original form, and, uh... Like, Raiden's no longer, like, a bit, like, dark side ish like he was. Like, you know, yeah. You know, it's like, obviously, it's all... Everything's sort of colliding together, which is super, super cool. And I kind of get why, obviously, the character versions of uh, Liu Kang, etc., you know, the main part of the game are all like in the new forms but I do prefer seeing them how they are and I really hope that we get skins of them uh, to unlock in the game as well like, I prefer the original look of the characters rather than obviously the new stuff that they're doing and I need to check out some combos as well while we're there yeah it's pretty standard stuff pretty standard stuff so yeah I'd say this is probably the best cinematic we've seen so far in the story mode this was awesome I really can't wait to see what happens with this story now. Like, I'm super, super invested in this now to sort of see what goes on. And I really hope we get to play some of these characters in their original forms again. Because I do prefer them, or like I said, I do prefer them over how they are in the main portion of the game now. Damn, that's a pretty cool move. But there we go. Baraka is defeated. Uh, I've been messing about with Baraka uh, in uh, Endless Tower last night. And I really enjoyed Baraka. I think it definitely could be a character that I could use quite often in the game. Uh, in single player online. I actually really enjoyed using him. Which is not something I usually do. I'm not a big Baraka fan normally. But I'm uh, really digging him in this game. turned assassin. Better to thrive in Shao Kahn's court than starve in the streets. You, Oshtek, may practice blood magic, Kotal, but I am the master. Oh, here we go. Jump straight into another fight now, this time against Scarlet. Not very familiar with Scarlet. Never another character that I've really uh, used a great deal over the years. I know he hasn't been in a great deal of games. Uh, I loved Mortal Kombat back in the day with like um, 
like the first trilogy, and then I kind of like fell out of uh, like love of it a bit, like Mortal Kombat 4 to like Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, I remember I played, I owned Deception. I think that was the only one that I owned uh, for Mortal Kombat 4 to Armageddon. Uh, I did play Deadly Alliance, but I didn't own it. And then I sort of got back into the franchise with Mortal Kombat 9. So, yeah, so I missed some of the characters and some of their appearances. But I think Scarlet may have been DLC in Mortal Kombat X. I'm not entirely sure. Don't know if I've... I don't know. Because I had Mortal Kombat X, but I didn't buy any of the DLC. So... Walk straight into that one there. The Corporal Khan seems like a pretty neat, decent character. I'd used him a little bit back in Mortal Kombat X, but not like a great deal. It wasn't a character I used that much. Mainly just in the story mode, maybe like one or two matches here and there. Oh, I knew that was coming. I went to block and I accidentally pressed circle. Obviously cancelled out the block. But I've got my own field floor now, so I may do it myself, and that should secure us the victory. There we go. Nailed it. Pride will be your downfall. Kodal. I thought you were dead. What happened to you? Shao Kahn betrayed me, ambushed my leader. I was kept alive for Shang Tsung's experiments. Only when he died was I freed. Seeing you again makes it worth living this nightmare. I will not lose you twice. Go help the Earth Realms. I will deal with this. Your future self is ally, not enemy, Aaron Black. <laughs> to hell with the future. I live in the moment. Given who you become, I would not have thought you so reckless. Fight! Right, here we go. Time for the third fight. I know there was four fights in the last chapter. Uh, whether it will be the same in this one, I'm not entirely sure. But so far, so good. I'm loving this uh, chapter so far. I'm actually quite enjoying using Kotal Khan. I'm actually enjoying the character a lot. Damn, some of these moves are brutal. There we go, take a book of fish to the face for the win. So far, so good. Oh, I missed that one. I have no idea what I just did there. But I walked straight into that one. Yeah, I must have stung a bit. And that stung even more though. There we go. Aaron Black is defeated. Laying the smackdown on people today. I will have my throne. Outworld rejected your pointless wars. Empires must expand or die. Your conquest served you alone. Not Outworld's people. Oh shit, chapter two, and we're already fighting Shao Kahn. Oh, brutal. Shao Kahn's a beast. 
I'm assuming we've got to fight the the uh, the woman that sort of messed with the time. I'm assuming she's like the boss of this game. Because obviously Shao Kahn would normally be. So I'm kind of surprised we're fighting Shao Kahn this early. Is that going to be it for Shao Kahn for round one? Yeah, it is. Shao Kahn's a beast as well. Seems like it'd be a great character. Might be a tad overpowered. Don't know whether he's going to be popular in light in uh, online play. I know. I think like Noob Cybot's like the go-to guy in Mortal Kombat. I don't know why, but apparently he is. I'm not really experienced um, with him, but I think he is generally like the go-to, the go-to guy. I know if you look on a lot of the records for like the towers and that Noob Cybot's usually the guy that they use. So whether Shao Kahn's a guy people use much, I'm not entirely sure. But I'm actually digging a uh, Kotal Khan quite a bit. You are Khan no more. Not known stranger days. Kotal Khan, I am Raiden, protector of Earthrealm. I know you. We are acquainted in your era. We were allies who became enemies. I am surprised, given our shared antipathy toward Shao Kahn. Everything changed after your defeat of Shinnok. Shinnok's defeated? Our realms joined to fight him. But in victory, you were hardened. To protect Earthrealm, you lashed out at all realms you deemed threats. That cannot be. My Raiden wears Shinnok's amulet as a symbol of his fury. Be assured, Kotal Khan, I am not that Raiden. We have common cause, both in solving this temporal crisis and in defeating Shao Kahn. Agreed. Liu Kang, Kung Lao, and I will return to Earthrealm and learn what temporal anomalies have occurred there. We must better understand the phenomenon we are experiencing. I will have my scouts track Shao Kahn. So, this is goodbye. Only goodbye for now. I can't leave while Shao Kahn threatens Outworld. I must seek justice for what he did to my family and to all Adinia. I will come back for you, to aid you, Princess. Questions, Devora. I routed your people, burned this hive, yet you aid me. We can't trust her, Excellency. Kotal Khan did, and she betrayed him to Shinnok. Kotal Khan. How is it I'm dead and he sits on my throne? You tried merging Earthrealm into Outworld. The Elder Gods intervened, and Raiden killed you. That's when Melina became Khan. After this one killed your daughter, Kotal claimed the throne. You killed Melina? If this is true, you will die! Devora is under my protection, Shao Kahn. As are you. I am Kronika. The legends are true? I am displeased with how history has unfolded. So you broke time? I stopped time. I enlist all those who disdain the current course of history. By merging past and present, we may draw upon allies from both eras. How will fighting your battles benefit me? I offer a greater empire in the new era, Shao Kahn. 
Raiden will not exist to thwart you. You can wipe Raiden from history? It is an immense task, requiring great power and effort. My hourglass requires protection while I work. Will your outworld armies defend it? They shall. I swear to God, I'm losing it. Can't someone, anyone, explain to me what the hell is going on? Right? I've been in the future for a whole hour and I haven't seen one jetpack. Not one! So it is true. I walked a darker path. After Shinnok went down, you became a different person. Red lightning, black clothes, authoritarian attitude adjustment. Yeah, about that. What happened to Dark You, hmm? How come you're an only child and I got an evil twin? As an immortal, I exist outside the normal laws of time. That could explain why I am affected differently. Thanks. Weird, isn't it? Not being in charge. That's what's weird? That and having daughters our age. Look at her. How do I have a kid? With him? <laughs> at least she's not an actress. Come on, at least think about it. We each get points off the gross. Coming this summer, Johnny Cage and Johnny Cage. In time, Quake. Any thoughts on what we do next? For months, I've been receiving vague premonitions of the future, but none of them foretold this. I must confer with the Elder Gods. Liu Kang, Kung Lao. Please assist the special forces while I am gone. Yes, Lord Raiden. Follow me. Commander? Yes, Mom. I mean, General. I mean... <sighs> this is strange for me, too. You have no idea. What? Uh, how do I say this? This morning, we were on a mission. And, and you gave your life to save it. Son of a bitch. Seriously? Yeah. And now here you are. Young enough to be my sister. Cass, you need to see this. Sapphi show another realm incursion at the Wuxi Academy. Nether realm? Taking out Shinnok's temple was supposed to stop them. It's gotta be the time anomaly. We must help our Shaolin masters. Why would the Nether realm want to bust up your alma mater, Liu Kang? The Dragon Grotto. It's underneath the Academy. Earthrealm's Jinsei energy bubbles up in its springs. That's no good. We've seen firsthand what happens when the Netherrealm screws with Earthrealm's life force. They will not reach the Grotto. It is protected by powerful magic, the deadliest traps. I am sure our counterparts from your era are already dealing with them. Kung Lao, Liu Kang, you might want to sit down. I die in the Colosseum. You on a rooftop fighting Lord Raiden. Our future, Liu Kang. It is insane. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is chapter two completed, man. I kind of got a little bit engrossed there. And I was like, oh, it's chapter three. Need to stop. Need to stop. But yeah, I was getting really engrossed in that story there. Man, that was an insane chapter. Uh, seeing the past and future collide with each other, uh, seeing all the characters in their sort of original forms, that's so, so cool. And that's definitely the Mortal Kombat that I like seeing. Hopefully we can do the same in the main game. I haven't really uh, played a great deal of it yet, going through the different styles and that. So maybe you can, I'm not entirely sure, but hopefully you'll be able to, because if you will, I will definitely be putting the characters back to their original forms from the earlier games. But that is going to wrap up this episode, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one today. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you're new around here. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on. And if you missed any of my Mortal Kombat 11 story mode playthrough, there'll be a playlist in the description box and on screen for you guys now. So make sure you go and check it out. My name is Doze. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.